All right, we are in the door. Let's see how we do today. I've got the chest mount GoPro on, so we'll see how that works out. I might need a microphone, but I'll try to speak up a little bit. Good morning. All right, so this is the routine when we're in. New carts come out, and we all look through them. Oh, Kitty's missing an ear on this one. Heartwood Creek. Oh, that's a shame. He's cute. I don't think somebody would want him without an ear. I'll go for this one. I see some decorated bottles. Oh, these are pretty. What are these? Handmade. Oh, we like those. Five dollars a piece. Those are going right in the cart. Beautiful. Four ninety nine. They look to be in really good condition. I'm gonna put those right in the cart. All right. So this is Goodwill Thirty. If you don't recognize where we are, it is really sweet. All right, let's hop over to this rack here. Oh, nest, fragrances. It feels like an empty box. Yep, I don't think we want an empty box. Good morning. The blue teapot is kind of cool. A lot of times these have damage though along the edges. Oh, so this is Chantel. Beautiful color, $6.99. Okay, we can see that it was sold in, I think that's Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Oh, lovely, it has water in it. Somebody washed it out. <laughs> that is so funny. Dripping water on the floor. All right, $6.99. I might take that for the booth. I will check it, I will comp it. All right, we're gonna put that in the cart also. I don't know if you're going to be able to see my cart that way. All right, what aisle do we want to go down? I think we're going to look for the wood aisle first. The tchotchka aisle is calling me, so we're going to take a look at that first. I thought we were going to look at the wood aisle. Oh, I thought this might have been wood. Very heavy. Rustic brown. Oh, this is Bloomingdale's. This is nice. Can we please have a second one? All right, another new cart coming out. We're racing back down. Okay, Aruba Starbucks coffee mug. We'll go with that for $1.99. We're going to grab that. This looks like a Cabbage Patch doll, a genuine. So for $9.99, I will look this one up. Aruba, that is very cool. No chips or cracks, which is great. Kind of matches my, look at that. Nice. <laughs> What'd you find? And then again? Oh, Stanley, yeah, yeah. But that's not a Starbucks or anything. No, this is just, this is older too, I think. It's not the, um, the newer ones, I don't think. Anything with Stanley though, I would, what are they asking for? it? $6.99. Okay. Stand back. <laughs> huh? Wow, that doesn't even look used. That is really nice. I know the teapot, I looked at the inside and it had water in it from when somebody <laughs> made tea. I was like dripping water all over the place. Yeah, it looks might be almost, almost no. That's really nice, babe. Did mm -hmm. you take a cart? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these. <laughs> I like the way you say that. Look at these. What'd you find? Who's making this? Oh, Lulu. I can't find any. That's nice. Look at that. Any. I can't find the logo. Really? You would think it would be along the hem somewhere. Huh. Oh. 
There it is. Mm -hmm. That little tiny thing. That's crazy. That's really nice. What are they asking for it? Yeah. $9.99. Really nice. Um, is it men's? Look how pointy that collar is. Could that be women's? The buttons are on the right. Okay. So I don't know. His sleeves are pretty long. I think it is a men's. Yeah. And what's the other one you got? Wow, that is really and that's nice. $7.99. Okay. <laughs> for the hoodie. Yeah, and what? how much was the other one? Was the shirt? $9.99. Oh. This one's cheaper. And where's the logo on this? Am I looking right at it? There it is. Yeah, that's genuine. That looks good. All right, I'm going back to my aisle. Ooh, look at this clock. What? That is lovely. Bulova. I love Bulova. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab that. That is really nice. Does it have both hands? It does. That looks very Art Deco. That is really nice. Let's check the price tag. $3.99, we can do that for $3.99. All right, gonna nestle that right here. So this is gonna be a totally different style of thrifting. I'm gonna leave my cart there for now and just walk back and forth because to push the cart every time a new cart comes out is a bit much. So hopefully you guys put up with me. This is very cool. It's just silver plate. I do like that. Oh, the hinge is broken. I would have taken that, especially for the booth. I think that would be a good seller. Okay, these are pewter. I do like these. Who's making them? Pewter light. FB Rogers, is that what that says? $1.99 each. So $4. I could probably get 10 to 15 for the pair. We're gonna go ahead and grab those. All right, so I was looking for the other candlestick from Bloomingdale's. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes peeled. We're gonna see where that might be. It could be that it wound up on a different aisle like um, that has candles and stuff like that. This is cool. This is a fireplace matchstick holder. Punch tin, $2.99. There is the striker on the side. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Oh, this is a very fun teapot, missing its cover. It's an apple. Some little dishes. That's a pot. I think it's seen better days. All right, I don't feel like looking at all of this mess. Sneak past here. So I will try to walk a little bit slower when I'm showing you the shelves, but we're gonna be walking back and forth a lot to the cart, filling my cart up. So this is what the cart looks like. It looks like this baby has its birth certificate, which is great. $9.99 is a little bit high, but at least with the birth certificate, I could look it up and, um, and see what they're going for, which is good. Pillows are attracting me today, lots of pillows. But I really wanted to do the wood aisle and I've totally lost the wood aisle. What have they done with the wood aisle? I'm not quite sure. We have the baskets aisle. We could start there. I'm gonna point the camera a little bit up. I'm gonna be adjusting the camera a lot because I generally don't use the chest mount, but I'm gonna to start to use it a little bit more. Last time I used the GoPro chest mount when we were in um, the vintage booth, and you guys seem to like the footage, so leave a comment down below if you're liking the footage with both my hands free and the camera mounted on a, um, on a harness. All right, this is a sweet little basket. And for $1.99, I really like this. I think that's a very nice aesthetic. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one. Not a real high dollar um, sale. Whoa, what in the world? That is very cool. $12.99, that looks really old. I'm gonna bring that to Roger and see if he knows anything about this huge tea kettle. Okay, so we are moving a little bit quicker, if you notice. 
And you can also leave a comment down below if you would like me to go slower. I can do that, but in the morning, I really want to be able to get up and down the aisles quickly to see what's been put out. I'm going to have to ask them to lower the music because it is quite loud. Hopefully the music being this loud won't interfere with putting this video out. All right, it seems like they've shut off the music, which is just lovely. Oh, pretty little glass fish has a hurt fin. Let's take a look at this one. He's okay. Again, a hurt fin. What is this back here? I don't know what this is. 1973, I guess they're blocks, wood blocks with a, I don't know, that's all I've got. I have no idea what that is. All right, down here we have a couple of boxes. This is a little chest, cute, $2.99. And you know me, I love this one, $3.99. Carved box, oh, that's lovely. What would we keep in there? Crayons, I have no idea. Cards probably, right? Decks of playing cards. That is really sweet. For 3 dollars we're gonna grab that one. Okay, a wood cross. This is like a one for a memorial. Is that what it's called? And usually in here there's a candle and a prayer cloth and some anointing oil. That's just beautiful. $2.99, we're gonna go ahead and take that. Oh, the shelves are lovely today. Who is this guy? Okay, that's just Hallmark. That's really sweet. If it was right before Easter, I would pick that up for the booth, but I don't pick up things way ahead of time holiday-wise for the booth, only for eBay. eBay, I list every holiday all the time. This is like a seashell box, bits of, looks like mother of pearl and some other green glass, lovely. And $4.99, says something. What does that say, mussel shells? Oh, how pretty. Do we want a mussel shell box? Of course we do. All right, maybe I should pull my cart because I keep walking back and forth. But now that I have two hands for you, we're just grabbing everything. Oh, this is adorable, but his tail is broke. That is so sweet. Lots of woodworking and wood crafts in the area. All right, that ends that aisle. We have found the wood aisle. Here is a sign. And you know me, I don't like a lot of wall words, but this is great. Here's the potter, we are the clay. I especially like this one, $3.99. That is really nice, so I'm gonna grab that. Okay, let's push the cart, shall we? Let's go back and get the cart. Okay, I'm really gonna have to get used to um, the angle of this camera. So that is my biggest concern today. I'm not sure what that is, a postcard? It's a postcard, excuse me, sorry. Let me get over to the side. Can you pass? Yep. $4.99, <laughs> okay. He's kind of cute, not very well painted, but look how adorable that face is. Do we love a good dog? Yes, we do. So sweet, but I think he could have been a little better painted. Painted a little better. What are these? Are they measuring spoons? Oh, made in Wales. What? I don't think I've ever seen made in Wales. Okay, $3.99. Not sure about what these are used for. But Made in Wales is too interesting to leave behind. We're gonna put those in the cart. I'm just scooping up all the treasure today. All right, so the wood aisle looks like it's becoming the art aisle. I was kind of hoping for just the regular wood aisle where they have shelves and what else? All kinds of things. 
This is very unique. See if I can get this out. What is that? <laughs> what am I looking at? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Wine glasses. Do we want wine glasses? How much are they? You always have to check that it is the wine glasses too. Seven dollars. The seller for the seller. That might be good. Merlot. How much could I sell them for though? That's always the question. I'm going to open the box and see if it's really wine glasses. Oh, they are. They look to be in fairly good condition. Look at that. Hmm. All right, this would definitely be in the booth. And what could I possibly charge for them? The seller exclusively for Macy's. I don't know about that. What is this mixed bag? Lots of findings and hardware, nails, tacks. Do we want that? Probably not. It's a lot of, lot of stuff that I don't want to deal with. Okay, even after all these years of buying and selling, sometimes I find things and I'm like, who's going to want this? Gunderson Company. I think somebody put the plate on. Now, the wood cubby is really nice. I love a good wood cubby. It makes me feel like my whole life is organized if I have this sitting on my desk. <laughs> the problem is, I think they put the nameplate on crooked, and that's going to drive me crazy. So if that would have been straight, I would have bought this for $4. But because it's crooked, and no, I'm not taking these out and moving it and puttying and staining, this one's got to go back. But isn't this kind of cool? I kind of like this. Very unique design. This is just like a decal, $1.99. And when you peel this label off, I bet you that decal comes off. So you have to soak it off. Lately, I've been taking tape off of eBay things and um, stickers and oh, it's just ruining everything. I wish they'd come up with a better system. All right, these are a pressed glass to look like cut glass. I do see four of them. The gold is quite worn. Looks like it might have gone through the dishwasher. See, I just went to hold that up to the light, the cup, and I can't because the GoPro is stuck to me. You can tell I'm having a hard time adjusting. It's very hard to teach me new tricks. I've been hand holding the camera for four years, so thank you for just hanging in there with me and letting me know which camera angle you guys like because I will do what the majority likes. I always want you guys to feel comfortable with my filming. All right. This is just an amethyst purple glass bowl. That almost looks like a sunflower that way. I don't know who makes this. I could Google image this. Looks to be newer glass. So I'm going to wait on that. We have a piece of pottery here, number 18. Oh, I know what that means. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Let's turn around and see what's here. Oh, this is very heavy, really heavy crystal bowl. All right, that is lovely, I have to say. It's got this flat top, $5. Why don't they sign their work? I want a signature on this one. That is very pretty. I guess you use it in the middle of a dining room table and maybe float candles in it. It's a floating shelf, talking about floating. Starbucks coffee. Montreal and Chengdu. <laughs> sure I'm saying that wrong. I'm gonna bring these over to Roger. He still does a lot of Starbucks. Um, not the, oh, look at that. I almost missed it. Moscow. All right. I grabbed it. Thought I missed it. Let's see what else. Do we see any more of these tumblers? They look to be in okay shape. They look like they need a good washing, which we always wash all of the cups when we bring them home. And yeah, I think that's it for this aisle. I will probably go down this aisle one more time before uh, we leave today, just to make sure I didn't miss any. What is this? Oh, this is hand painted. How did they do that? I don't even know. Oh, it's a sticker. Somebody made this cup. That's a lot of work. And put 
a Harley Davidson <laughs> sticker on it. I'm going to bring that to Roger. What do you think? Think that's real? <laughs> Someone made it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and put a sticker on it. <laughs> Is that a Harley sticker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the places on this. Moscow. Starbucks coffee. Yeah, but look at this one, babe. Look, look. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take this one back. You don't want that. No, you might want crack, these. Oh, which one has a crack? I didn't Isn't even that see a crack that. Right by the sticker? Yeah, that's. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. You want me to put this one back? Yeah. I don't even know where that is. Just because what I'm place right. is that? I don't know if you want those. Yeah. All right, so now for this part of the video, I'm gonna do a handhold of the camera. So that way you can see the difference to be able to compare and vote which way you like me filming. So as you can see, I am fully able to point up very easily because I'm hand holding. Looking at the lamps, I, I have to say I really like lamps. Are they quick movers? Most of the times, no, but I am selling them. I'm going to insert a screenshot here of one of the lamps I recently picked up and I accepted an offer in the booth. Now, generally the booth, you know, you mark it and that's the price, but the booth um, employee did call me and say, hey, you have a buyer here that would like to know if you would take 50 for the lamp you have marked 60. And I said, sure, because the lamp did take up a lot of room in the booth and I was happy to move it. But um, yeah, so this angle, see that? I can just turn around and I can look at the bottom row. I can hold the camera a little closer to my mouth so I don't need a microphone. If we go with the chest mount, camera view for most of the videos i'm going to get a microphone to put on my lapel that's just the nature of filming on a gopro all right so we can freely go up and down the aisles it does protect other people's privacy a little bit more because when i see a child in a cart or somebody that i just don't want to you know have on film i can just turn away quickly and um i hope that's hope that's explaining what we're doing here all right, let's keep going up and down. I am just looking at shoes quickly. I have not been picking up a lot of shoes. Lately, I really have to cut out of my schedule anything that takes extra time. So something that needs a lot of what we call in my family, zhuzhing up, that means to clean it and to, you know, sew it and all of the things. Yeah, I'm no longer able to do that. Does this say Dugati? A Dugati suitcase? Oh, this is to me? A to me Dugati. What? Wait, what? This has got to be worth something. Oh, that's a very big suitcase. I'm going to bring this to Roger and see what he thinks about this. Does the handle work? That's the first thing I always make sure. Oh, see that? There's no lock left in it. Unless. Nope, that is broken. Look at that. Dugati is a race car, right? It's like a sports car. And that is to me. Okay, quite interesting. I don't know what to think about this. Like I said, the handle does have a problem. $6.99. I'm gonna bring this to Roger and see what he thinks about this. It does have quite a bit of wear. This is well loved. Okay, so Goodwill wants $6.99 for the suitcase. I'm going to show you to me. Let me just push Roger's cart around. See this to me? This is a really nice luggage brand. And then it's Ducati, which makes um, sports cars and motorcycles. When you open the bag, let's see if I can get this open with one hand. See, now this is the one handing it, which I'm very used to. It has like a serial number inside. Fairly clean on the inside, but the wear on this thing, it's got some cracking on the corners. And like I said, the handle doesn't go up and down. That's the dilemma. When you find something that would normally, if this was in good condition, I'm gonna say $500 all day long. This thing is quite beat. So I'm giving it to you, no backsies. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
I mean, I'm thinking you could get probably at least 40 or 50 for it, yeah. do you think? It's not that bad, I mean. I think somebody's going to want to wheel this through. It yeah. might need a cleanup, but right now I have two things in the garage I have to scrub anyway, so add one more. Very interesting. All right, Roger's cart is looking very fun. Are we going to play this? Oh, the electronic battleship. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one? Yeah. Tell me about it. Uh, probably $75. Really? This is in good shape. You too. know what I love? I love when I say, tell me about it. And it's First the price thing, for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the box, most important. The box is in really nice shape. Yeah, it is a in nice times shape. These boxes get really beat up. Yeah. This box is, I don't know if everything's in there, hopefully. You're going to count all those little tiny pegs? No, I have extras <laughs> if somebody needs them. You have extras? Yeah. What kind of extras do you keep in that office? <laughs> I have a few extras. Like what? Just mostly like dice and a couple. I used to have a ton of stuff. I got rid of all that. Every time you sold a game, if yeah. they were missing pieces. So what did you have, like Scrabble tiles, any of the yeah, small pieces? I had pieces? pretty much every piece you can think of. Really? Yeah, I had a tote full of just extra pieces. Because a lot of times they would be so many extra and then I would take them out. Or if one was incomplete. I would just keep the Okay, pieces. so if I named game pieces, you probably had I them. Probably, like you had extra battleships. Oh, I, oh yeah, I had all <laughs> kinds of, I had a lot. Oh, I wish I, I would have seen that. that were 40 years old, I had extra pieces. Really? This oh, strategic. Oh, sealed. sealed. Nice. So one of these just sold for 75. 75? The sealed is the key. Yeah. On this game. Like this would only be like $10. Yeah. But since it's sealed, it's probably... Yeah, 60 Very proud to 75 of you. hours. You're, you're a true toy game seller. What is this here? What is this North white face. thing? North Face. Women's or men's? Oh, it's got pink. Oh, you might be losing that breast cancer awareness. What size is that? I need a bigger size than that. That's medium. medium. That almost looks like a junior's medium. Yeah, lately with the Oreo cookies in the house, I'm needing a large. Okay, I'm back on the suitcase aisle. <laughs> I did give Roger the suitcase and he is looking it up and, um, you know, going to make a judgment call on whether he's keeping it. does have quite a bit of damage, but again, something like that, uh, people are going to want that. So there's that. All right. A Royal Basmati Rice Shopper's Tote. That's kind of fun. I don't know that a lot of people would want to carry that. It's a little straw neck roll <laughs> bag. Okay, what is this little red? Now I'm gonna look at every red suitcase. Who is this? What is going on here today? Uh, let me stuff it in here so we can see this better. See that tab? When it has that much detail and it looks like a nicer case, I do look at these a little bit more carefully. All right, I hear a cart coming out. I'm gonna grab this and take a better look at this. Okay, so I really like these mugs. Maxara, $2 a piece. They need a good scrub, but they're in nice condition. And I'm thinking probably in the booth, 15 for the two. Not a huge profit again. One of my subscribers is here shopping and she handed me this turtle. How good is this? Handmade. North Coal Pottery. Is that what that says? Sanford, New Jersey. Thanks, honey. What does that say? 1993? Yeah. Sandy Coal. Huh. Good job, Sandy. That is kind of cute. It's a flower frog turtle. You stick... Toothbrushes, eh? No, I think toothbrushes would be too big for this. I think this is actually put into a vase and you put flowers out of it. It's like a flower frog, I think. Yeah, really cute. All right, what else do we find? <laughs> the elephant in the room. We found this wreath that is just lovely. So I think this will do well in the booth. It has that real eucalyptus dusty look. Very pretty. And I found a belt. I think everything else you guys saw, the belt is unmarked, but I really like this braided kind of carved wood look. No, it's not. It's leather, but really nice belt. And what am I paying for that? I am paying $3.99. So that is a really good price. All right. That is what I have so far. 
Mm. These are certified international. I don't think I ever pick up that brand. They break very easily. Not really well made. Do we see anything else? I don't think so. Pencils, lots of pencils. They're all yellow. <laughs> Why would somebody have a whole bag of yellow pencils? That is too funny. I wonder who's making them. I have sold so many vintage pencils. I know, I've sold a lot of everything. I'm always saying that. But I have made really good money with vintage pencils. Um, I used to sell them a lot more than I do now. I don't find them as often. Okay, little bowls and plates. Just white. Who's making these? Casual settings. I don't know who that is. Okay, so this is the end of round one. We're gonna take a break and eat in the car. We brought food. What kind of food did you bring, sweetie? <laughs> I didn't bring any. He didn't bring any. Um, we're eating peanut butter pretzels and I brought some cheese and chicken and crackers and snacks and treats. And this last thing I'm picking up when it came out, I was like, what is that? This is an exercise rope. There's ropes that you um, use to work out. Just gonna say that, I don't know how to describe that. $6.99. I think this is X gear and this was sold in Walmart for approximately $50. I think they've been out of stock around here. So I'm gonna grab this. It's a, it's a very heavy sisal rope inside this cover. So that is very cool. $6.99, I should be able to flip it for $30 on Facebook Marketplace. All right, this is what the car is looking like. Good start to the day. We're gonna eat, like I said, and hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, here's a little added extra video for those of you who love to see what clothing I pick up. And I know I do center on hard goods in my videos because those videos just get more views, but I never want to give the impression that I don't still sell clothing. I am lavender clothesline after all. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of clothing shopping. Now it is harder to film because you're just going through these racks piece after piece. Um, not every single item, but you know what I'm saying? It's not riveting footage. But I do wanna show you what type of items I pick up. Here is a black tag swimsuit. Black tag is the color of the week. Swimsuits have a tendency to be higher priced in my area. So I do try to get swimsuits when they are the half off. I like this swimsuit because it's tiered. See these? multiple layers women love these and as long as the size tag is there so I reach in grab the size tag I see this is Croft and Barrow not an especially high-end name 16 W good size but for what is this 350 about three dollars and sixty three seventy really good pickup and the one place we always check yep I hate to say it right on video is the crotch area you always want to make sure that the suit is not dirty in any way and not um, rubbed there because a lot of times that material gets uh, wear rub all right here is another suit so basically I just go through suits quickly I'm looking for black tag or something that really stands out like a lululemon or something like that here is another black tag and this is Nike really pretty colorway pinks and purples again i look for the size tag inside this looks to be maybe even a juniors there we are there size medium very nice condition and again we check the crotch to make sure it is clean nice and clean all right that one goes in whoops we have a hitchhiker let's try to get this one off i didn't mean to grab that one let's put that one back Okay, any other black tags? Basically, I'm paying between three and four dollars. Oh, we have a crying baby. <laughs> Basically, I'm paying between three and four dollars for a swimsuit. This one's interesting. I don't know what's going on here. This almost feels like it's made of cotton. Interesting. Halter. Now, I know there are bathing suits that are made um, with like no grab legs, I think it's called. I forget what that's called, where the legs do not have elastic for people that are sensitive to items constricting. I don't see any kind of branding on this swimsuit. 
does seem to be a little bit better made. All right, we're gonna wait on that one. I do want the swimsuits to have branding. So here we're seeing just the top. It's gonna be $3. We're gonna say no to that one. Oh, this is a pretty one. Okay, $7.25, who is making this? Let's see if we see our tag. A lot of times the tags are on the side and I don't see branding on this one. Do I see branding? No branding. Could be from Amazon, or it could be that I'm just not seeing the tag. That could be. All right, it's a pretty one again. So this is how I go through swimsuits, just very quickly when I'm not holding the camera, a little bit easier. I could put the chest mount back on and do it that way. Let's reach in, get our tag. Oh, this is Michael Michael Kors, size 10. All right, so this one, oh, there's the branding there again. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> Little baby found me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take this one for $4. That goes in the cart. Here is a find. We have black tag for a bikini, $7.25. This is Oakley, very nice condition. Oakley branded. My concern now is the size. Will the size be there? Oh, I think we have a full tag, which is great. Nope, turns out that the size tag is cut. So unfortunately, I will not take it if the size tags are cut. That's a shame, because that would have done well. Here is a really interesting swimsuit. It is a striped one piece, 725 black tag, reversible. So the stripe, the nautical stripe reverses to floral. And because it's reversible, I can't find a tag anywhere. So I'm not quite sure where they would put the size on this, unless it's originally on a rip away tag. This feels like really good quality and I'm tempted to pick it up anyway, but how in the world would I tell what size this is? It'd be very hard. Swimsuits, I do give a measurement in my listing. I just give the length. So I measure it from the top of one shoulder, diagonal to the other side of the middle of the crotch. That is usually how bathing suits are measured. But with this one, no tags. Ah, it's a killer. Look how cute that is. I'm almost tempted to get it for me, but I wouldn't even know if this would fit me or not without seeing a size tag on it. That is a shame, but unfortunately it would cause too much angst trying to figure it out. So yeah, I wouldn't want the person to get it and be unhappy with the way it fits. All right. We have some really pretty suits today. I think because it's April, suits have come out, but people aren't buying them yet. So look at them all. We've got a whole rack of them and I am just the girl to go through them. This is a cute one too. Adorable, but that's blue tag. We are centering on black tags. I don't want to pay $7.25 if I can get suits for four or five dollars, three or four dollars, three to five dollars, something like that. $7.99. Oh, look at this. Exhilaration. That's Target, I believe. Exhilaration. Yes. Extra large. $7.99. We are getting a brand new bathing suit for four dollars. See if I can unhook this. So that is definitely going in the cart and the size is right there. We will take that one. Now bathing suits, when I photograph them, I just hang the hanger on the wall or I put it down on the floor. Here's a Nike. I have question about whether this is a real Nike or not. I would have to see the inner label. This feels like a fake to me. Yep, there are, oh, it's real. Made in Vietnam, size medium. And there is a tag that is ripped, but this is the material content. It's okay, we can pick up this one. This is medium. Most bathing suits are made out of a nylon or nylon blend. So in the um, listing on eBay, I can just put that it is nylon and that should be fine. These are very twisted today. All right, oh, look at this fun one. Look at the pom-poms. Oh, this is great. Okay, so this one is $5.99. Let's see if we have a maker inside. I see a tag, it's a good sign. Okay, I think this is just an off-brand from Amazon. That is just a guess. I don't see any branding on this one. I'm gonna leave it behind. 
I like swimsuits with a branding on them so people know what the quality is. Ooh, this blue is pretty. Is this a black tag? It is, $7.25. Okay, we have branding. Oh, Grace wore this. I'll peel that label off. See, there's the nylon, 82%. Okay, again, no branding. Wow, there are a lot of suits on the market that just come from Amazon, I imagine because Amazon is the only place I've ever seen swimsuits sold where um, there's no branding. Yeah, that's the person's name. That's a shame. I could sell them, but I don't know. I feel like there'd be too many returns for suits that don't fit, and I'm a no return seller. So that is the story there. All right, see how long this is taking? And I'm going through them quick. So clothing does take longer to look through than hard goods. Hard goods, you see something on the shelf, you scoop it up, you might run a comp on it, but basically you know what you have. Clothing is much harder. All right, this is red tag. That is a cute suit. Oh, I like that for me. Roger and I are getting ready to go to Florida. So um, we're staying in a resort there in Orlando. So that is fun. We will not be working. <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, we have a branding tag. Thank goodness. Let's see who this is. Comasol, size large. Darn, I was really wishing that this one would be on sale. Look how cute that is. Do I want that? Hmm, I have enough swimsuits. My own personal swimsuits, most of them are Lily Pulitzer. Um, I even have her solid black one. I like Lily. All right, keep your eyes open for black tags. There's a black tag there. Nope. All right, I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of this. If I find anything of a note, I will turn the camera back on, but I'm just gonna whip through the rest of this rack and see what I can find. When it comes to women's blouses, most times I am paying attention to the branding, but there are times that I pick something up solely on style if it's a decent enough quality. So here is a good example. This is $8.99 black tag. It's gonna be $4.50. This is AGB Woman 2X. Look how pretty this is. I think I can easily get $19.99, if not more, for this blouse. Beautiful peasant style, very romantic, great condition. Looks like it hasn't even been worn, but of course I'll call it pre-owned. And this one's going right in the cart. So at this point, I'm just like browsing, not really serious shopping going on. And I came across this sweater. Oh my goodness, this thing is adorable. Unfortunately, no tags at all. Ugh, this is a killer. Look how cute that is. Most definitely vintage, I would have to guess. Who cuts out all the tags and it's not even on sale? But for $5, if I can keyword this properly, I think we'll do okay. I'm guessing this is a woman's small and I'm gonna have to put all of that in the listing, but for $5, this is so unique. I feel like the quality is there. It has a beautiful feel to it. Sometimes I take a chance when there are no tags at all. It's rare, but how adorable is that? Do we love a good mushroom? Yes, we do. All right, guys, I am just browsing, just throwing things in my cart all willy-nilly. Nothing really of note, just items I feel like I can make a few dollars on. And I figured I would show you that last mushroom sweater. <laughs> that is killer. I wish it was my size. I would so wear that. So cute. All right. Why don't more companies make cuter prints? Like, really? You're going to make a shirt and just put some lemons on it? So boring. Mushrooms are so much better. All right. Lots of clothing. This store does not have a shortage of clothing. So for anybody who thinks that resellers are taking all of the items for people that can't afford retail stores, no worries here in Pennsylvania. There is more than enough to go around. And then some, a lot of this will go to the landfill. Make no mistake about it. All right, guys, that is it for today. Oh, this is cute. It's falling off the hanger. That's very cute. All right, that's it for today. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.